Hi and welcome to the latest project. Um, what we've got here is a miniature weather station. Um, the box for the weather station has been 3D printed and then the 3D printer has actually been finished with um, a, a lacquer, a spray on lacquer. Um, without much ado, I think it's probably easy just to show you what it does do. I've got a power bank here which is just providing 5 volts. If I switch this on, the device um, will boot up. It tries to connect to the house Wi-Fi and then once it's done that, it goes and grabs some data from a website. Uh, in fact, it's using the Weather Underground website. And so once that's completed in a few seconds, it shows the time and date of the local area. In this case, I've got it set to Lees and Bradford in the UK, which is currently three o'clock in the morning. Um, temperature 7 degrees, a balmy 7 degrees in February. Some other data such as humidity and pressure and what have you. And the next three days forecast and temperatures. And on the last page, it's got uh, the temperature and the humidity here because in fact, we're actually not in Leeds and Bradford, I'm in Sydney. Uh, and that temperature and humidity is coming off the uh, sensor off the back here. So a nice little feature you can do, uh, as I say, it's set up for Leeds and Bradford at the moment, but uh, I'm here in Sydney. We just give the unit a bit of a sharp bang. You'll notice it uh, goes and grabs some data. This time it's grabbing the data for Sydney, uh, where I currently am and where I live. And now we see the weather forecast for Sydney, which is somewhat better in February than Leeds and Bradford. Obviously the temperature and the humidity is the same. And there we go, just after two o'clock in the afternoon. So there you have it, a weather station which uh, can toggle between two different locations. Uh, the button on the top is a reset button. The device will actually go to sleep after about, I think 10 minutes, I've set the uh, duration at the moment. And pressing the button will wake it up again. Um, there we go. Hope you like it and hope you're enthused to make one yourself. Bye.